During the Easter break, Nick and I went with a handful of people to do some trad climbing at Mount Arapiles. As someone who has only done a handful of trad climbs and has barreled on a few lead climbs before, I was pretty nervous but also excited to dedicate that amount of time to trad. Little did I know the amount of fear that would come up during this process. I had not anticipated that at all. So today I'll be recapping a few climbing moments during my trip and talk about ways in which I was able to deal and process the fear in climbing. Guiding Light was the first multi of the trip. It is a grade six and it's got four pitches. I was pretty nervous going in. I wasn't calm because there was a lot of different things that happened that morning. So I was not in a very good headspace. In pitch three, there's a step across in a chimney from one face to another. I have to down climb to the lowest point on one side, stick my leg out, shift my weight, and then catch on the left side. The step across is at the very beginning of the third pitch. So Nick went across, finished the pitch. When it was my turn to start I was pretty nervous my whole body was like resisting it was like no no like this is not safe you're not doing this right now I spent about 30 minutes working on that step across all my fear really kicked in and I wasn't able to control it I'd never gotten such a big hit of fear and a step across is not something you would normally see in sport climbing so this was a very new technique that I was learning so as I was down climbing I could just feel myself getting a lot more worked up and I could feel myself like breathing really quickly and heavily and just starting to cry I spent a lot of time over gripping on hold eventually let myself cry and just let the emotions out and just really acknowledge the emotion that I was freaking out after that I down climbed back to the step across I just started to take really big deep breaths in order to just let me stop thinking a little bit focused on one limb at a time so I was like okay right foot will go here left foot will go here no will go here I eventually down climbed as low as I could possibly get and then I started to test out just small movements of stepping across I stuck my leg out and then I stuck my leg out and then tilted and then stuck my leg out to a little bit more and then kind of got a bit scared. There was a group on a climb 100 meters further up from us and there was a guy at the top of his climb just like smiling and watching me and I was like freaking out. After doing like the mini steps across I decided to commit so I took a really deep breath and I just lowered myself down and then pushed off the face shifted all my weight to my left foot and then was able to stand on both sides so I was now standing on both sides in this chimney and I had to really like shift all my weight over to the left side in order to grab any holes there's nothing I could grab as a medium to take me over which was probably the scariest part it was like no hands I did the step across next thing I knew I was on the other side and it was all over the rest of the climb was totally fine and super easy but it was just that one part in the climb that just triggered the fear and completely stalled me. Coming out from the other side, I was really glad that I was able to push through with that. And I'm really happy that I did do it because there was another step in the following couple of days. So we just did pitch one of Spiral Staircase. I led it. Um, how did you find it? Very technical. Yeah. That's a consensus. I think it is. How did you find it, Gail? It was pretty great. Technical as well. It was a pretty good part towards the end. Yeah. That's the way up. Yeah. Amanda is about to lead this pitch, which goes up this gully. It's not too long, I think it's just 15 meters, and then she's going to try and find the tennis court, which is our next belay station. How are you feeling about the fourth summit? Or the fourth pitch? I'm going to vomit. <laughs> Hold it in until you're at the top. <laughs> Can. Big forward step and hug the wall. Right, you on Google, eh? It's 
great belay, you have pro, you just go gen gently forward. You can smash it. Can you see him? Sitting down, leading forward. <laughs> nice! Let's go. Woo. Put some pro in when you can. We did Spiral Staircase, which is a grade 8, and we did it in a group of 3. Nick led pitch 1, pitch 3, and I led pitch 2, pitch 4. The fourth pitch was a step across my old friend. The step across was like above a 30 meter void, and there was also wind, which made it more dramatic. And then there also was a party waiting behind us, so I felt immense pressure to just do it really quickly. Having done this at Guiding Light, I tried to do something similar where I just took really deep breaths. I focused on what move needed to be done. Sat down and I stuck my right foot out. And as soon as I hit the hold, I grabbed a really chunky jug on the other side and was able to lift myself off. There was a lot of panic and I was able to just do a lot of deep breaths and just focus on doing the move and completing the move to get to the other side. And once that was done, it was all clear again. I'm very happy to have been able to do the move again. Nice. You're looking. Yes, that's it. That's the move. Come on, making that look so much better. Come on. Come on. Yes. Yes. On the last day we had a two climb Dracula which is a grade 11 and it's a multi-pitch split into two. The weather was like a bit windy so I was getting worried that I would be able to communicate with Nick when I was at the top but I was really encouraged to just give it a go and I was so nervous you can tell in the footage. It does list that the first pitch is quite tricky. It's all about using technique and climbing with your feet. I normally love my techie slab climbs but because I was so afraid and not trusting my protection, I just freaked out and I just forgot how to climb. You can see in the footage that I freak out, climb above the cam and then want to bail and take, but I'm too scared to let go. Eventually I let go and fell about 30 centimeters, but it felt like I'd fallen like three meters. As I was working the first pitch, I really felt the same fear kind of conjured up again, like it was bubbling at me. I was just frustrated couldn't think things through clearly after I took I was lowered down we then did like some practice falls which allowed me to gain a bit more confidence you know we did have plans to do other multi pitches that day but Nick was kind enough to be like okay you know let's focus on this climb as a project we can take all the time you need let's just give ourselves that space and room to do so having him say that just made me feel a lot more comfortable because I felt pressured to do it very quickly because we had other climbs to do and we were running out of time. I ended up finishing pitch one and then I led pitch two all the way to the end. Pushed myself, was scared, but I was able to just really think about good feet, good hands, good technique. There are also these really beautiful pillars at the top of Dracula that I recommend you go and take a peek because it's very unique and I've never really seen that kind of formation at the top of a climb before. Back at camp, there was someone in our group who was projecting like 20s and that's an Abrapolis 20, so I would say in sport it's probably like a 25-ish. We were asking her any advice and basically she said, if you're not feeling like you're going to fall or you need to take, you're not trying hard enough. If you're not scared, then you're not trying hard enough. So that really put things in perspective in terms of having a relationship with fear. It's about making sure that you can do the move, pushing yourself when you're feeling comfortable in terms of learning new techniques or pushing through mindset. That really like changed the way that I look at improving as a climber. It's allowed me to really appreciate having fear and having challenged that during the week. I'm going to wrap up the video there. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully from this video you'll be able to 
know that there is also someone out here who gets freaked out on climbs and is trying to digest how to cope with fear and I will see you in the next video. Bye! Thank you.